Hey guys, it's Jeremy the Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 161 on SO Exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, as in you are to do let's just dive right in. So the basic of the question is they're just wanting to wanting you to find an expected claim payment for an auto loss. So and they have a deductible of one. So anything before one, they're not the expected payment is zero, right? The customer have to pay everything out of pocket. And they're paying a maximum claimant of five. So this is something that I tripped up on. The good thing is the answer choices were pretty, pretty obvious. So I still got the right answer. But the maximum payment is five. So that means from one to six, the expected loss is the loss minus one, right? Let's say like you got six losses. Then then six minus one is five. So that's still the maximum payment. So from one to six, the expected payment is just X, whatever the loss is, minus the deductible. So that includes six here. And here, anything beyond six, the maximum amount is five. So anything beyond, doesn't matter if it's 10, doesn't matter if it's 12, it's still gonna just pay $5 or five, whatever. And, and auto loss follows an exponential distribution with the mean of two. So that's one half e to a negative t over two for the distribution function. All right, so let's set up our expected payment amount. So from zero to one, just pay zero dollars. From one to six, it's gonna be paying x minus one times the probability distribution, one half e to the negative t over two. From six to infinity, they're gonna be paying five, no matter what, times one half e to the negative t over two. So this is um, IBP, integration by parts. If you want to watch my video, I have a whole video about IVP and like a little shortcuts I use. So using my shortcut, this integration is going to become x minus 1 e to the negative t over 2, negative here, minus 2 e to the negative t over 2, integrating from 1 to 6. When I plug in the upper limit here, you're going to get negative 5 e to the negative 6 over 2. So that's 3 minus 2 e to the negative 6 over 2, which is 3. Minus, when I plug in 1 to this one, 1 minus 1 becomes 0, so this term becomes 0, minus, minus, so this is also plus 2e to the negative 1 half. Alright, moving on to the other side here. This integration just becomes 5e to the negative t over 2, integrating from 6 to infinity. When I plug in e, um, infinity, so it's like thinking, thinking it like this, like e to a really, really big number, so that approach is 0. So you're going to get 0 minus 5e to the negative 3. So this integration becomes negative 5e to the negative t over 2, integrating from 6 infinity. The upper limit, thinking of it like this, like 1 over e to a really big number, 1 divided by any really big number is going to start approaching 0. So this is 0 minus minus 5e to the negative 3. So that's positive, plus 5e to the negative 3. So simplifying this out, the 5e to the negative 3 and 5e to the negative 3 here cancels out. So you're left with 2e to the negative 1 half minus 2e to the negative 3, which is our answer, C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!